Now here, we're dividing decimals by 10, 100 or 1000. And what we do is we write the decimal out, so here we have 0 0.6, and then we copy down the decimal point so that it's directly below the decimal point in our number. Now we're dividing, so the number's getting smaller, which means digits are moving to the right. And in 10, we have one zero, so that means digits move one square to the right. So if we copy down this six, one square to the right, and do the same with this zero, we get 0 0.06. But we have an empty ones column, and we can never have an empty ones column, so we need to write a zero in this empty square to give us our answer 0 0.06. Now we have 50.5 divided by 10. So we write out the number and copy down the decimal point. We're dividing so digits are moving to the right and dividing by 10 mean digits move one square to the right. So if we copy down all of our digits one square to the right, that gives us 5.05, .05, so that's our answer. Now we have 9.7, so we write out the number and copy down the decimal point. But this time, we're dividing by 100. Now there are two zeros in 100, so digits are moving two squares. And because we're dividing, the number is going to get smaller, so digits move two squares to the right. So we can copy this 7 down, one, two squares to the right, and do the same with this 9. Now we have empty squares both before and after the decimal point. We need to write zero here to show that the nine is now in our hundredths and the seven is now in our thousandths. We also need to write a zero before the decimal point because we can never have an empty ones column. So our answer is 0 0.097. Now we have a whole number so we have 65 divided by 100. Remember, there's really an invisible decimal point on the end of every whole number, so we can write 65 with our decimal point on the end. Then we can copy down the decimal point. We're dividing, so the number's getting smaller, which means digits are moving to the right, and 100 has two zeros, so we need to move the digits two squares. If we copy this 5 down, 1, 2 squares to the right, and do the same with this 6, we get 0.65. We need to write a 0 in our empty 1 square, so we have 0 0.65 as our answer. Now we start with 43, so again, because we have a whole number, we can write the decimal point on the end. We copy down the decimal point, but this time we're dividing by a thousand. A thousand has three zeros, which means digits are going to move three squares. We're dividing, so digits move three squares to the right. If we copy this three down, one, two, three squares to the right, and do the same with this four, we now have empty squares before our decimal point. So we need to write zero here, and we can never have an empty ones column so we need to write zero before the decimal point as well. So there's our answer, 0 0.043. Now we have 22.1, so we write the number out, copy down the decimal point, and to divide by a thousand, because a thousand has three zeros, we need to move the digits three squares to the right. So if we copy down this one, one, two, three squares to the right, do the same with this two, and with this two, again we have an empty square before the decimal point, so we need to write zero here, and we need to write zero before the decimal point as well, because the digit before the decimal point is our ones digit, and we can't have an empty ones column. So our answer is 0 0.0221. Thank you so much for watching, I really hope that was helpful. If you're a teacher or a parent then please subscribe or go to keystage2maths.com to download resources for this lesson and many more. 
That's all for now. I'll see you in the next video.